What's up guys? Well, today's video is going to be on the gear that I personally use here in the infantry that most infantrymen you're going to see use the, just the main uh, pieces of gear that you're going to use. I'm going to share that with you. I know y'all been waiting for a long time to see this video and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right guys, so if you wanted to see a gear video, see what my gear is looking like and all this stuff, right? So I got all my gear in here. Uh, it's really all the gear I'm just taking on deployment. So I'm gonna pull it out one by one and explain it and show you what it is, right? Uh, first thing I pull out is right here. So this right here is a tarp. You can use it to build shelters, uh, keep out the rain. You can put it on the ground and use it as like an extra warm layer so you're not sleeping, you know, it gets you off the ground, so like that. And this little mat right here is the ISO mat. It is what we sleep on. It actually works way better than what you would think it would. Just this little thin piece of uh, foam, uh, like it does wonders for your back. Uh, you'll definitely notice the difference. It also keeps you warm. It gives you that, you know, that height off the ground. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, you got a whole bunch of these right here. Just random like little sacks and stuff, right? Uh, you can put stuff in them. Uh, these right here. These, uh, I have something though, and another one, and I'll show you what it does, but it gives you uh, the capabilities of putting a lot of stuff in here and compressing it. So when you're packing your pack, it's not like really bulky and it's, it enables you to pack uh, really nice and tight and that's what you need on your back because if not, then it's gonna do a lot of, you know, put a lot of strain on you. Uh, these like sacks right here is for like bigger stuff. So I put camis in here to waterproof stuff. And all these sacks are all waterproof. So that's, that's what they're mainly for is to waterproof your stuff and stuff like that. Uh, this one you can also use as an uh, air panel. So to like say you need to call in like a bird and your signal plan is like an air panel, then you can you know, turn it inside out. It's orange, I'll show you. So if you can see, there's, there's orange in there. So you flip it all the way inside out and you know, you just tie on something and wave it around you. Uh, next, got my flak, right? So this is my flak. Uh, this is a tourniquet. I'll go in detail more about this later. But this is my flak, right? This is a chest rig. So it enables you to put all your mags in the front. Uh, I'll throw a picture up there. Uh, pretty sure I got a picture. Uh, but yeah, enables you to throw all your mags up here. You got your grenade pouches right here. And yeah, just put it on, strap it around. So uh, up on the back. Got this pouch where people, you know, used to keep their water and able to have some water, some drinks, so and not dying of freaking dehydration. Uh, this is my sling. Just sling the right piece of explanatory. This right here is a war belt. So uh, with the chest rig that I just showed, you're able to put all these mags in the front instead of having to put on a war belt and have it around your hip. So basically, you just clip this around your hip, and yeah, you can set it up many different variations. Uh, just prep, like, I'm gonna set up so what makes it comfortable for you to be able to get mags out and shoot and all that stuff. Uh, this is just a pouch where you put, if you have to retain your magazines, you know, you'll shoot, you'll reload, you'll drop the mags in here. And this is your IFAC. So that thing I showed you that was on my flak, that's called a tourniquet. So it's for like somebody's legs get blown off, arm get blown off. You're gonna cut off that blood, you know, flow and try to save that limb and stuff like that, or try to save the person's life. And that's what that tourniquet is. But this is an IFAC and it has, you know, tourniquets in here. It has, well, it has a tourniquet in here, it has like gauze, it has everything you need to do, like need to have to save someone's life. So it's definitely a very important piece of gear, I would say. All right, so in here is our sleeping system. That's what kind of sleep system is gonna look like all packed away. Uh, in here is a sleeping bag and like a bug net. Uh, money when it comes down to, you know, sleeping comfortable in the field. So definitely, you know, cherish this because it's very, very good, very good. Um, Right here, gas mask. Uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. This is what our gas mask looks like. Looks like this. Uh, it sucks having to use this because I hate CS gas. But yeah, it looks like this. Uh, this little tube in the front, uh, you're actually able to drink out of this gas mask with our canteens. And I'll show you the canteen tonight so you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, you just pop this out, you stick it in the canteen, you're actually able to drink while you have this on. So you don't have to expose yourself to gas. Uh, and the canteens. Pretty sure everyone knows what the canteen looks like. But these are the canteens right here. And this little black clap, uh, you're able to pop this off and stick that tube that's on the gas mask and actually put it in here and you're able to drink water. So yeah. Also, I would not lose your canteen uh, caps, the black ones especially. They're really you're like, they're hard to find and you have to turn back in whenever you get out of the Marine Corps. So I don't even drink out of my canteens. 
I drink, I like bring one just in case I gotta use my gas mask and do that, uh, like if we're going on the field out. But I usually bring a Nalgene, it's just a plastic, like um, cheap like bottle you can use, you just tape up, you just tape it up or spray paint it to like camouflage it and yeah, that's what I just use. Uh, next, we got, got the Kevlar, right? Everyone knows what Kevlar looks like, but yeah, it's Kevlar. I'm um, pretty sure everyone knows what a Kevlar is used for and put it on your head so that way you don't get a freaking dome piece. Get a sniper shot to the head. This is an assault pack, right? Uh, this is what we use for like mobile, like mobile use, right? So if you're going on a patrol or you're doing something quick and you don't want to carry the big old man pack, and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, but yeah, it's something for you to just throw some stuff in here and be able to, you know, move around quick and fast and not have to carry around a lot of stuff. You get an assortment of pouches and, you know, canteen pouches and stuff like that, so. That's for that. We got a camelback. You'll familiarize yourself with this a lot in boot camp. Basically, it just enables you to, you know, carry water on the go. So I use it a lot during like PTs and things like that. And yeah, that's all it is. It's just a camelback. It's like you just wear like a backpack. You able to just run around with it and stuff like that. Like I said, you'll familiar yourself a lot with this on boot camp. You go to boot camp. Next, we got this. Gore-Tex, top and bottom, right? All it is is basically a rain-like suit, but it kind of doesn't even work. It's supposed to be waterproof, but you'll find out real fast that it's not really as waterproof as it's supposed to be. But yeah, it's just basically a little freaking rain suit. Uh, here goes an example of using like the sack. So there's actually a lot more suffocating than you think. There's uh, two or three tops and three bottoms actually in here. And this sack, it like sucks out all the air and compresses it. And so now instead of having you know, a big giant wad or something now you just got this and it's enabled you to like i said pack really nice and tight so your pack doesn't look like trash and so it's also you know good on your back you also get like random like little pouches you can use for like you use on your stuff to hold various stuff uh, like i said um and speaking of that i have this great 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 company uh called mission central gear and they're gonna hook you up with a lot of the a lot of this stuff uh, like pouches cool like uh, things for your gear pads for your flag you know to make it more comfortable so it's not just ripping into your shoulders um, I'll, I'm also going to talk about a very important piece of gear from them uh, after I should get done showing you this stuff that you definitely need to hear about and uh, yeah they're really cool people over there in this social gear uh, this is the main pack right this is a big old pack you're gonna hike with and do most of your you know put most of your stuff in when you go to the field uh, got like a e tool pouch. I'll show you what the e tool is. Get all all these pa uh, pouches and stuff on here. But yeah, this is gonna, what's gonna you know end up breaking your back, making you feel freaking sixty when only you're twenty. That's that. Uh, that's pretty much it. You get like little minor stuff. Uh, I'll show you. You get like a whole bunch of gloves for like repelling for cold. You get stuff like that. You get uh like a foregrip that you can attach to your rifle. It has a pad on there so you can turn on your peg so you know you don't have to click it every time. You just press this little pad and it automatically turns on like the flashlight and you know, things like that. You get headlamp, definitely recommend getting this. Uh, this is not the one they actually issue you. This is one I bought, really cheap. Uh, you don't wanna you, you don't want to lose the one that they issue you because it is very expensive. So most of us, uh, especially in infantry because we use it a lot, headlamps in the field. Uh, you should just buy a cheap one from the PX, and as long as it's able to go to red light, that's all you need it for. So, yep, that's that. And this is like for your night vision devices and stuff like that. It attaches to the Kevlar. I'll go ahead and show you that. So it attaches to the Kevlar, so it enables you to put your night vision uh, devices actually on your Kevlar. So tabs like this, like so, and then you just put the other piece inside, and then you would attach your, you know, night vision devices onto here. So like look like this down, and then you have night vision. So yeah, that's what that's used for. What else we got over here? Uh, e tool. It goes in that pouch I showed you earlier. E tool. It's just a shovel used for digging and various stuff. Uh, and then you get like. Eye Pro, so you get like some shades, you get clear and dark, um, and that's basically it. That's like most. Of, that's like pretty much what I'm taking on deployment. That's most of the gear that you're gonna use, and you're gonna have you know variations of stuff, combinations of the way you set up stuff. But yeah, that's basically what you have to look forward to when it comes down 
to the gear, especially I know infantry side, uh, most of the time pogs don't really just use their you know gear like that. They get issued it, but they don't really use it. It kind of just sits and looks all nice and pretty. As you probably saw, I still have, have like dirt and stuff going on mine. That's just stuff that's just stained on there. But yeah, guys, uh, definitely make sure you stick around. Keep watching to hear a little bit more about what Mission Central Gear has offering, what special piece of gear that I recommend that every infantryman has. All right, guys, so I told you I would tell you about this book, this piece of gear right here. Uh, I'll put it up close and let you see what it is, right? Uh, I got it from a good buddy uh, with Mission Essential Gear. Uh, I highly recommend going to them, if especially you're in the infantry and you plan on, you know, really going for it, going for it hard, and you want to be decked out with gear. Mission Essential Gear is the way to go. They not only have just gear uh, like this, and I'll explain what this actually is, but you know they have like skibby shirts and stuff like that. Really comfortable. I actually have one on right now. It's great. Uh, to highly recommend. Go check them out, guys. I'll leave like a link down there in the description uh, to like his website and things like that. But what is this book right here? Why did I say this is so important? So in this book, especially as an infantryman, this is going to be your best friend. This is a fool's. And it's gonna tell you everything you need to know from like call for fire to uh, conversion tables to, you know, like nine lines, uh, how to call in like air, you know, already all this stuff. Anything that you would ever need to get on the radio and like talk about, this book is gonna like be your cheat sheet. It's gonna help you out. So, you know, instead of having to remember all this stuff off the top of your head, you have this handy dandy like book that you can use. And these guys at Mission Central Gear, they will provide this for you and they're really, Really cool people, uh, definitely very good customer service. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, if, if you're trying to be that, like that next, like, you know, tip top infantryman, uh, you wanna be decked out with gear, you wanna make sure you're all good to go, squared away, definitely get one of these from Mr. Central Gear and also go check them out and also look into some gear, uh, especially uh, if you wanna look all cool and Call of Duty and shit like that, definitely go check them out. Yeah, guys, so that's basically it when it comes down to the gear here that we basically use a lot, especially in the infantry. Guys, uh, make sure you definitely go check out Mitchell Central Gear. Uh, like I said, all the links and stuff are going to be down there in the description, guys. Um, guys, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, guys. If you have any questions on anything or you want to see like even more gear or something like that, make sure to leave it down in the comments, guys, and let me know what you want to see next. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.